Hey folks. So in this video, I'm going to talk about finger picking the banjo with bare fingers. As many of you know, in the videos on this channel, I sometimes use finger picks and sometimes don't when playing the banjo. And many of you have asked about tips when playing without picks, specifically how to get better volume and tone. So I'm going to talk about that in this video. Before I do, let me briefly just say a few words about playing with picks in general. One of the most common questions that people have when starting out on the banjo is whether or not they need to use picks. The natural thing, of course, when you pick up an instrument and start playing is to pick with your bare fingers. And the first time you put any picks on, it's guaranteed to feel awkward. And you might then think, do I really have to learn how to play with these things on? And the answer to that is no, uh, not at all. There are certainly many banjo players throughout history, who many great banjo players, who always played with bare fingers, never used picks. Um, so the main reason people wear picks these days is to, um, number one, get more volume from their banjo. And this is primarily useful when playing in a band where you want to be heard uh, with the other instruments. As you may have discovered, using picks when you're playing solo it isn't always the most pleasant sound. Um, it's kind of loud and brash. But when you put that sound in the mix with a band with other instruments, that, that brashness turns from a bug into a feature and helps the banjo to st stand out. Uh, but it is one of those sounds that people either love or hate. And I think that sound is largely responsible for the banjo's reputation as an irritating instrument in some people's minds. So again, one reason to learn to play with picks is if you want to play banjo with other musicians, especially if you're wanting to play bluegrass banjo with other musicians, as the sound of a banjo picked by finger picks is part of the expected sound in that uh, genre. The other option, if you're going to be playing with other musicians in a genre other than bluegrass and you don't necessarily want the sound of finger picks is to use an instrument mic of some kind. Um, I really like the Bartlett instrument mics, um, which I think are great for capturing the natural sound of the banjo and they're very easy to use. Personally, when I'm playing solo, I definitely prefer not to wear picks. So I'll practice sometimes with them on, primarily so that I remain comfortable enough with them so that uh, I, need, I can use them in settings where it's appropriate. But if you're not really interested in learning bluegrass banjo, or you're mainly interested in playing solo banjo, then it's hard to make a case that you should learn to use finger picks. Now, if you're starting out and you're really not sure where your banjo uh, adventure is going to lead, then I would recommend learning to play with and without them. All right, so now I'm going to share three tips uh, for playing with bare fingers, uh, specifically to help with volume and tone. And the, the first uh, tip is, the, is to consider the strings that you're using. In general, you want uh, to lower the amount of resistance that the string is providing. If you're using steel strings, then light gauge strings are going to be easier to get a good sound from with bare fingers. Uh, but I also love using Nile gut strings when playing with bare fingers. Um, not only is the tone great, but when they're picked with bare fingers, it's much easier to get uh, more volume out of them with a pretty light touch. I typically use the Aquila brand uh, for Nile gut strings, and I especially like their uh, the Aquila Reds uh, for finger picking. So that's the first thing, strings. The second thing is to consider tuning the banjo down in pitch. Um, I'll oftentimes tune the banjo uh, one, two, three, maybe even four half steps down from kind of the standard tuning, so like standard G. If you, if for G, D, G, B, D, tuning down two half steps to uh, what would be F tuning, the key of F. Um, and again, you're just tuning every string down by the exact same amount, whether it's a half step, a full step, and so forth. Um, sometimes I'm doing this to suit my vocal range better as well, uh, but you'll find it's also easier to get more volume uh, within these lower tunings, again, because the strings are looser, there's less resistance. And then the third thing you can do is to have a little bit of fingernail on your fingers. And you don't need a lot here, uh, really just enough to extend past the flesh of the skin. And this um, helps just add a little bit of sharpness to the sound so that it projects a little bit better. 
Okay, just to recap, first question, should you learn to play with finger picks? Answer is yes if you're wanting to play bluegrass banjo or you're not really sure yet what you want to play. No, if you're pretty sure you're just going to be uh, playing solo uh, or playing solo and singing where um, playing without picks sound, tends to sound better or playing in genres where you're not going to want the sound of finger picks. Um, and then the second question, when you're playing, you'll get more volume if you, number one, use light gauge strings if you're using steel strings or use Nile gut strings. Number two, tune the banjo down a little bit in pitch. And number three, have a little bit of fingernail. All right, so I will conclude here with a video uh, of, with an example of me playing the song Wildwood Flower, tuned down with bare fingers using Aquila Reds. Gone and neglected this pale wildwood flower 